Hi everyone, this is the first tutorial on the video game worlds. I'll be creating a simple and a complex world today. A simple is the simplest possible world and a complex is complex enough for learning, but a game actually allows to create much more complex worlds. Um, this will be a rendition of the actions described on the website. So, uh, I'll be just copy, I'll just copy them to make a better visualization of the process. Okay, let's go. So if I click play, uh, I don't see any world, so let's create one. Let's create and name it natural. Uh, why natural? Because I have a pre-created textures for it, uh, which could be created in any image editor you want, like Paint or Photoshop and you can import them into the game. So if I press textures, there's no textures now, but if I press this little button scan images, they're automatically created, which is very cool. So let's look at them, here they are, just uh, textures. We'll be using this one, which is called dry grass, for our simple world because it won't be used in the complex world. So let's create a block for it and name it dry grass, select a texture and write a little simple rule which I will also name dry grass. The naming doesn't matter, it's just a matter of you like it or not. Height is less than zero and action and block regress. Uh, what does this mean? This means is at any point of the world where height is less than zero, we'll put this dry grass block. Actually, this, bil uh, this will be a flat world with only dry grass in it. Okay, let's see. Press play and go. A loading goes on, I'll cut them out because it could take some time where, when there are a lot of rules. So practically pr this is pretty much the world, yeah, it's flat and it's unlimited dry grass, cows would like this, of course, but nothing more, nothing more to see here. And let's do a little trick and change the texture because it's pretty boring. Let's save it, go back, back, let's play and see what happens. And it has changed quite nice. Okay. That's pretty much it with the simple world. Now let's create a complex one. We'll start with deletion of the old rule and we'll add blocks for every our texture that we'll be using. Let's start with dirt, then grass, then leaves, then sand. And then tree trunk, which I call tree, and water. Okay, seems like it. And now we'll have to create noises. There will be four noises, I'll just copy them. Uh, I, n naming, of, of course, doesn't matter. You can name them as you like. Lower height. Uh, noises are the things that make different kinds of variables for our world, so we can write rules which are based upon them, and we can place blocks or objects based on the rules. That's the hierarchy. Upper height. Upper height. Uh, okay, that's it. And now we'll have to create three 
different pack of rules. These are the rules themselves, but they all have sub rules, so I'll co call them pack of rules, if you don't mind. Okay, let's create some rules, and we'll start with the lower height rule. Lower height, where height is less than lower height. That makes sense. Uh, less or equal than. We'll use sub rules, let's save it, edit, and add sub rule. We'll add two sub rules, dirt and grass. Let's add dirt. Dirt. Height is less than lower height minus one. It's less than lower height minus one. Okay. Let's add dirt and grass. Uh, we're adding grass. No, height is greater or equal than lower height minus one. Height is greater or equal than lower height minus one. Okay, and we've finished with the first rule. Let's look at the result. And here we go. Uh, a world with grass and dirt in it, and nothing more. But as you can see, we can use our blocks that we've created because we've like created them. Okay. Let's add another rule. So we set up this world again. Create. It's named water and sand. Yeah, and the condition is lower height is less than 69. Lower height is less than 69, and we use sub rules again. There will be two in our rules it's for sand and for water. Conditions are becoming longer, so I'll just paste them. So sand, yeah, and water, yeah, okay, water. Um, condition for water is also present here. And let's save everything and look at the world now. Well, and as the article, the tutorial article on the website suggested, we have some private islands here. Yeah. with um, quite nice vistas sometimes like here okay let's add another rule this will be the last one it's called upper height I guess yeah it has a condition of height is less than height is less than upper height and caves is less than 0 0.2 and we're using sub rules yeah again dirt and dirt and grass height is less than upper height minus one it's less than upper height minus one dirt yeah grass height is greater than upper yes. upper 
Right. This one, grass. And the last rule is about a tree, which, as you can see, we haven't created yet. So let's do this and create a tree. How do we do it? We start a special tool called Object Editor. Objects are things that are made from more than one block. So let's create a tree. Uh, today my tree will look like this. Um, okay. And I'll save this as a tree. As you can see, we got it here now. So we can go back to the rules and create a tree rule. I'll copy the condition, name it tree, and we add object, which is called a tree. Yeah, okay. Save, save, back, 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 play. Hit play and wait. Well, and this is pretty much it. Let's look at what we've got. Let's look at our trees, if we could find one. But I'm sure we will. Okay, higher and higher. Okay, okay. Oh, and here we are. The trees. They are present. So this is a pretty complex world, but uh, I'm sure someone will create much, 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 much more complex worlds. As a creator of the game, I just don't have the time to do this, or I'll have to find one if no one will. But for now, I expect that somebody will just make something useful. It was the first tutorial of the Worlds game. Thanks for being here and have a nice day.